Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration today using some of our brand new stamps. We're going to be creating this card today and that's just using these two stamps. So it's just a, a magical butterfly that I've put together and you can make that as wide or as small as you want. Just experiment and have a play. But I've embossed the wings here and then added the dinkles over the top, which I think gives a fabulous effect. So I've got my watercolour card here, because I'm going to be throwing quite a lot of water at it. I've got my Versamark and the Wow embossing powders that I'm going to be using is the Opaque Vanilla White. But again, if you want to use a different colour, that's absolutely fine. Let's get started. So inking up in the Versamark, which is your clear glue for the embossing powders. And I'm going to just pop that down at a slight angle, like so. And again, on the other side, following that shape, If you wanted to make that wider you could do another stamp underneath that one using one of the VersaFine colours after we've embossed. So I'm going to take the little head of the butterfly now and then I'm going to line that up. So we're going to emboss this as well. So taking the powder, I'm going to just cover that whole thing, give that a little shake, make sure we've covered all the area and then tap off. Just trying to keep all that detail here so if it becomes a little bit clogged, just Flick a little bit more of the powder off and then pop that back in there for another day. So I'm going to heat this up now and you can do it from the top and you can do it from underneath, it's entirely up to you. Okay, you can see that it's all melted because it goes shiny. So do inspect it, make sure that it's all melted. So now we're going to ink up in the twilight. And we'll pop that down in between the two wings. So give that a good press. And like I say, if you wanted to add more depth to the wings, you could stamp again and it would come through under the embossed wing. So now I'm going to saturate the card with water and we're going to add the brown dinkles. So I need a a dry fan brush to pick the dinkles out and then I'm going to just tap that over the top. Now you can see it's repelled the water and the VersaFine Claire will also repel the water because it's an oil based. And now let's take our dinkles
Now we only want fine bits, okay? So all you're doing is taking a little bit out the pot, tapping off in the pot, and then and you can see how it's all starting to work. And it's revealing that lovely image. So that's all we need. So it's only a very, very small amount. Now we can add a little bit more water. Just to blend it out a little. And then start to dry that off. I'm just going to dab the wings slightly, taking any excess off the wings. But the brown from the Dinkles is one of my favourites. It's got so many other colour elements within it. I think it looks fabulous when it goes down on the card. It's not as boring as just brown. So you can do what I'm doing, heat, heat up the card, dry it off, or you can just leave it to dry itself on the side. I'm just speeding things up. So I want to make sure that is completely dry because I am going to be adding more colour over the top. So I've got Truffle from our Elements range and what I'm going to do is just take a small stencil brush and then go over the top. And then wipe back. And you can see the more I put over the top, the more that lovely white effect stands out which is what I wanted. just love that effect and of course it, you know you don't have to do that in just these colors you can do whichever colors you like it'd be quite nice to see what you guys do with different colors I've only tried blue which is really nice as well so I'm happy with that now I'm going to just ink up some words, I'm going to stamp those around, I'm going to ink up in the twilight. Take off and then just, just want the words very much in the background just to take that starkness away from the edges. What we'll do is just add a little bit of depth around the edge of the card as well it's looking quite nice and distressed which is exactly what I wanted 
And I think if we just darken that edge a little bit more, it will look even better again. Take a look on the gallery though, because the design team have been very busy with all our new stamps, which look absolutely fab. So I'm going to bring in a touch of colour. So we've got aqua green. So I'm just going to bring in a touch of this. And if we wanted to, I've got a little bit of gold here. So we could always add a little on the body as well, pulling that together. We could have a few little yellow orbs dotted about. It's entirely up to you how you want to embellish this now. So we've got ourselves a little magical entity there, a butterfly or a moth or just some kind of little fairy creature flying through the air. I have some glitter. I'm going to add a little bit of that because it wouldn't be the same without a little bit of glitter. You know, you could really go to town on embellishing this. I'll come into the end of this glitter. This is one I'm using an awful lot of at the moment, rose gold. It's a really lovely colour, this. It's funny, isn't it, how you have your favourites for a while until they bring out another colour. Just look how that glitter has just brought it to life again. On my previous card I added a few words. Any one of these is absolutely fine. They're just nice little sentiments I think. Any one of them goes together. However we're feeling. And there we go. Even though it was the same technique, we've got a slightly different card variation. And as I say, try in different colours. It'll be interesting to see what they look like. Thank you so much for joining me again today, guys. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.